we've talked about antihistamines. There's so many allergy products that we can buy over the counter. Right. Um, Claritin is another very popular one. What do those products do, the antihistamines in particular? What do they do inside our body? And then what are some of the, the side effects from okay. some of those? So if the uh, histamine is the problem, the histamine, once it's released, it is a nerve ending irritant. And that's why it causes the itching, itchy eyes, itchy nose, itchy through the sinus and the runny nose. So when you take the antihistamine, it's blocking those histamine, either preventing them from being released by these cells, so you don't get the reaction. Very simple. Are there other medications that, that aren't antihistamines that do other things? Correct. So that's why I said if you, for instance, treating your allergies and you use just histamine, it may not be sufficient. Unfortunately, many people who go over the counter, they will buy some one antihistamine, say, uh, if I can say name, they say Claritin. Mm -hmm. They take the Claritin, it's not working, then they work their way down, they go get Allegra. If Allegra is not working, then they get uh, Zyrtec. If it's not working, many of them do Benadryl. Well, they did not antagonize all the chemicals that are released by these allergy cells because we have the local trans and the prostaglandin that are also release that cause the allergic reaction. So by doing things like uh, Montelukast, which is singular, in conjunction with your uh, say, uh, uh, antihistamine, say Zyrtec, which is one of the good ones, you will do way much better. Mm. Uh, also doing a nasal spray, the steroid, uh, controls all these chemicals. So that's why nasal corticosteroids actually do a better job than just doing the antihistamines. And one of the things with the antihistamines is they often make you tired. Oh, yeah. uh, why is that and are there, are there other options besides those to take? Okay, so the newer ones, the old, old antihistamines that tend to block some re uh, receptors that cause you to be tired and be drowsy. Mm. So they're made to be drowsy. But the newer ones, such as Allegra or Claritin or even Zyrtec, are supposed to be non-sedating. Mm -hmm. So they're not supposed to make you drowsy. But even that, you will find that some individuals will react to them. Mm. And so for that reason, I really say it's up to uh, people. I can always say Claritin, Zyrtec is the best, but if it's making you drowsy, then why don't you do something else? Mm -hmm. Then you can take the... Uh, less potent ones such as Claritin, you can double up on it and it will be mm -hmm. effective.